I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for September Capricorn. Now we've got another one of those Pluto Uranus squares happening this month. So it's the second one of seven over a three or four year period. Um, now uh, Pluto is in your sign. It's happening on the 19th. Pluto is in your sign and Uranus is in your fourth house. So the fourth house is all to do with your home life, your family, your domestic scene. Okay, so um, you can expect, a, let's say, some, um, you know, rocky time or um, dishevel time happening around there, right? So once again, you just got to deal with it as it comes through. And, uh, you know, sometimes with these aspects, when they are a little bit brutal or challenging, like this one is, you're not even in control of it because, you know, Pluto is like a transformational planet and Uranus is, um, you know, a sudden sort of developments. So, you know, don't worry about it. It's, I know your Capricorns come straight out to the Virgo on the worry rector scale, but don't, you know, worry about it. It's like you can't do anything about it. And as I said to another star sign earlier, it's not what happens to you, it's how you deal with what happens to you. So keep that in mind. Now, let's talk about your most favorite topic and that's career and money. So Mercury on the 16th and the Sun on the 23rd, both move into your solar 10th house and joins Saturn. And Saturn, of course, is your ruling planet. So the Sun gives you a great boost of positive energy and Mercury is a communication planets so there's also a new moon on the 16th in your ninth house so this is good for um, visionary you know to visualize your goals and to visualize where you want to end up and what I want to say to you is don't worry too much about the how and I know that's not easy for a Capricorn because I'm a Capricorn and I'm always trying to figure out how I'm going to do things but you know right now with the Sun, Mercury, Saturn influence, having a strong influence on your business and professional life and the new moon there just giving you the visionary help just to believe so you can conceive so you can create and manifest what you want in your life really leave the worrying of the how for someone else okay because sometimes fate will just take over and once things happen they have a habit of just falling into place all right now let's have a look at love and romance so venus for the first week is still in your solar seventh house of love and partnerships and relationships but really capricorn you you have to be open to allow love to come into your life so um, if you like me you spend way too many hours sitting behind your desk so make a point to go out and socialize the work's still going to be there tomorrow and the next day and get out there and socialize and, and network and you know just start mixing with people and also a change of scenery is good for the soul it's good for your inspiration and it's good for your business as well okay so you can link it back into your overall purpose you need to right now work on your self-image as well so you know whether that's how you feel about yourself or how you look um, spend some time this month working on your image in in some way so you can bring that into line and, re and reduce being critical or having any judgments on yourself all right now your lucky numbers for the month are 18 19 29 and 30 and i've put down your most dynamic days the 29th this is when the sun is uh, is in opposition to Uranus and also the Sun is squaring Pluto so conflict challenge between home and work so there's certainly some challenges this month but there's also some great things happening as well and you know what happens what comes out of chaos is order so sometimes you just gotta go through it to get to the other end so good luck have a great month I'm Jennifer Angel thanks for watching